Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi, consultant in reproductive medicine surgery at the Homerton University Hospital, London. And today I'm going to talk of a slightly different topic. Does endometrial scratch help in intrauterine insemination cycles? We know that if you were to do an endometrial scratch in an IVF cycle, there seems to be some evidence that in recurrent implantation failures, endometrial scratch or endometrial intervention may be useful. What we do not know is, is there any role of endometrial scratch in nature, which means does it help natural conception and does it help IUI? And this was a study which was recently published where we look at endometrial scratch injury before intrauterine insemination is a time to reevaluate its value. It's a systematic review of meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials. So what was the aim? The aim of the study was to assess the impact of endometrial scratch injury on the outcomes of IUI treatment. Systematic reviews and meta-analysis were reviewed. Eight trials were included. Outcome was looked at by clinical pregnancy rates, ongoing pregnancy rates, ectopic and miscarriage. We know that endometrial scratch is used in IVF, but less likely to be used in IUI. Eight studies were looked at of 1,871 cases. Scratch was done in 998 and no scratch was done in 873. These seem to be done in the early follicular phase. When we compared and said, looked at what does a scratch do versus controls, the scratch gave a better pregnancy rate than controls. Overall, it seems that on the basis of the meta-analysis and a systematic review, it seems that a scratch may improve clinical pregnancy rates in an IUI cycle. The scratch does not lower miscarriage rates and doing a scratch within the cycle, which means around the time of when you start stimulating, seems to improve clinical pregnancy rates better than doing it in the previous cycle. Exciting, isn't it? And then you suddenly feel, wow, we've got the answer. We should do a scratch in all IUI cycles. That is the problem with when we review a bunch of papers that are varied in their solid evidence, which means that some papers are not, do not have robust evidence that their techniques or the methodology that we, with which they have adapted are not very good. So when this study was explored a bit further, it, at the end it's a meta-analysis. There's a considerable risk of bias. There's a moderate degree of heterogeneity. Scratch timings differed. Patient characteristic differed. Ovarian stimulation protocols differed. And the quality of that study differed. In conclusion, I would say that there is a pure, poor evidence at present to see whether endometrial scratch improves clinical pregnancy rates in IUI. At least there is no evidence that it lowers pregnancy rates. And that question is still kept open unless we have a very good study, like the ones which were done in IVF, which are slightly better in terms of their content, of whether doing a scratch would be better in IVF. And the answer is probably yes in multiple failed cycles. In intrauterine insemination, we don't know. But I, th I think if that's something which you're doing, I think it's worthwhile giving it a go. Thank you very much. Again, if you like this page, like it and share it. It's a free page. It's to teach everyone. I use it mainly to teach my trainees so that I can review a journal outside working hours and post it. But it's open to anyone in the world to access this site and have a look at the general reviews that are taking place and ask questions if they wish to in an email. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.